Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video session, I am going to explain you about the S3 file list component, bucket list component. So that is basically it is going to retrieve what are all the buckets that is that are present in that in the specified bucket path or bucket name that you have mentioned in the component. And the, what it will show you is it is going to give you all the bucket that are present or the bucket names or buckets that are present in the particular S3 bucket that you have mentioned. So for that we have a component known as TS3 bucket list. Uh, so I am going to explain you that. So for that I am creating a new component here known as TS3 list underscore demo as part of the first component uh, as component I am just creating a TS3 connection here with the access key and secret key I think this is the last video of this uh, session guys uh, I think we have covered almost all the all the AWS components that we have in talent studio if you wanna get all the understanding just go through all the topics then we will get clear picture of all the AWS components and how you can do all the in and out from AWS to talent studio so S3 connection and then I am just checking here T bucket list T S3 bucket exist to check whether the corresponding bucket exists or not and the bucket that I want to check is when cut static page and once if the bucket exists if the bucket does not exist then I want to close the connection using the if condition and this particular flow we have already seen this and here I am gonna make I am gonna use TS3 list component here so this is the actual component this is the main component that we are doing here I am using if condition so I am going here only if this particular bucket exists in S3 and I am gonna close the connection if the bucket does not exist And here in the TIF S3 list here you need to do some configurations here I am using S3 connection here and as a first step let us see what if we get all buckets like uh, what is the output that we can expect uh, if we click the list all bucket objects here and I am using T Java component to print the data and I am connecting T list with uh, iterate and at the end I am gonna close this connection on sub job ok yeah so in the T Java I am gonna write some print statements yes. one is for the printing the bucket name and another one is for Let's see. Here, if you see this in the TS3 list, we are having a lot of options here. So, if you want to get what is the bucket name, you can just drag and drop the current bucket here and paste it here. And similarly if you want to print uh, the current file name or whatever it may be then you can just do it here that's it I'm saving it so that is all so basically the functionality what I implemented here is first of all I am checking whether that particular bucket is exist or not if it exists then we are going to print all the inter internal files and all if does not exist then we are just closing the connection so let's run this thing. so if you see this the banker static page is present so if you see the output it is printing instead of printing the bu bucket data of Venkat static page it is printing all the bucket data here 
so whatever the files that are present in each and every bucket it is printing the particular bucket details and all here snowflake learning bucket as well as the other uh, venkat static bucket as well so it is printing all the buckets which store which have uh, data inside it but here what i want is i want to print only the things which are present in the venkat static page so for that what you need to do is here you the reason because why everything got printed is here we check the option known as list all bucket objects if you uncheck this one then you will be uh, it will be asking you for bucket name and key prefix so for this here i am selecting the bucket name as venkat static page and for the key prefix i am using that as aws so what that mean is in the uh, venkat static page whatever the things that are that have aws or it that starts with aws that is gonna take it as a key parameter and it is gonna print it so in this case uh, in this folder we have only one file here so only that will get printed so i am saving it and if you run this the expected thing is only one one particular file that is aws static file dot html should get printed so that is what it's saying in the java component if you see the bucket name is a venkat static page and the file is aws underscore static underscore file dot html so this is how what the t you can use the ts3 list to identify what are all the contents that we have inside a particular bucket that is all for this video guys thank you for watching